where there's warmer water. So yeah, we'll let this guy go. Goodbye, Bobby. So this is the parent's tree frog. Um, these guys, they'll be the most common tree frog that you'll get around here. So the habitat for these guys, it's always best to include some shrubs in your backyard. You know, some two meter tall shrubs um, like Mele Luca. Um, but I'll actually send out an email about more specific plants that you can put in your backyard to all of you for arranging all the different frogs that I'm talk about. So there, there's a whole bunch of native plants that these guys really love. But these guys especially, I find that they really like Mele Luca, which is the tea tree. No, not the tea tree, paper bark, sorry. Tea tree is closely related to them, but yeah. So paper barks, they really like paper barks, so they'll hide under all the flaking exfoliation. And I actually think they might be, that might be their, like kind of what they're adapted to, because they go that really light color, which is the same color as the underside of the paper bark. And I, like I've only thought about that when I was reading this old school literature of like the 1920s, and they're talking about how every paper bark swamp they had, they found heaps of parents tree from. So I think there could be a correlation there, but you know, it hasn't been proven scientifically or anything. But another really good option for attracting parents tree frogs, which is really easy, like you can do it even if you've got a balcony or an apartment, is getting a lily pad pot. This is like, when I did my honours project, when I was studying urban areas in South Sydney, the parents tree frogs, the, 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 like, the lily pad pots were like a breeding ground for parents tree frogs, like a nursery. They love them. Um, and the reason is because their tadpoles develop in warm water temperatures and lily pad pots have to be in full sun. So you've got the warm water temperature and as the lily, pod, pad, um, lily pads um, leaf decays, that's what the parents tree frog tadpoles eat. And their tadpoles are actually very different to other tadpoles because they have this part of the jaw sheet which can bite through plant vegetation. So you'll get these nip marks in your lily pads, which is unfortunate, but they'll also eat the vegetative structure of duckweed. And that's unlike any other species of tadpole. Most other tadpoles don't have a well-developed mouth, so they usually just eat the detritus or the muck at the bottom of the pond. But yeah, so their tadpoles are really specialised in eating the vegetative structure of aquatic plants, and that's why they just go so well in lily pad pots. So that's a really easy way to get these guys in your backyard and get a nice breeding population. See if they've got eggs. No, right. What do you call it? Gravid. Yeah, gravid when they're right. when it's pregnant. Right. So th this is the, and did you see where I found it? So that these guys like to hang quite high in the canopy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she was what, probably two meters? Yeah, yeah two meters. <laughs> and she was just sitting there. So th that was, she was using that as her kind of non-breeding habitat retreat. So that, that gives you an idea of how, um, like what kind of structures you need in your backyard to attract them. Because when they're not breeding, they'll be hanging up in your gutters or like up on the shrubs or something like that. But yeah, I'll, I'll do, um, what, what I'll get everyone to do is turn all their torches off. So I'll show you how to, um, so this technique is called um, candling. So sorry, uh, just a little bit of light. And so she's she's gravid. So so usually when they're when they're not gravid, they'll just have a line here. Yeah. But since she's gravid, she's got all this dark shading um, around yeah around the um, sorry. Can you hold? <laughs> Did you spot her eyes? Yeah, I spotted her eyes showing up in the canopy. And one of the ID features of this frog, they actually have a cross-shaped pupil. So if you have a close look at her pupil. Yeah, there's just a bit. You can just see a bit. Yeah, so they, that's one of their ID features. But they've got this mottling in there. They've actually got specks of green. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah very cool. So um, we'll put it back. Have everyone had a look? Yes, thanks. Yeah. Crack up. See, look how well they climb. So she would just climb up there.
It's also, it's almost like a glider. <laughs> <laughs> Just jumping.